Hey guys, so today in this video I'm going to be uh, just going over the entire rest of the solving of the 3x3, the, the beginner's method. So essentially that's just going to be the last layer because up until this point we've learned the first two layers. So anyway, let's just get right, um, let's just get started. So <clears throat> as we know, um, so we're going to start with the last layer. So I'm just going to put in this final edge for the second layer and here we are. So we end up with some random combination of pieces on the last layer. So once you get to the last layer, the first step is, you know, is to orient the edges, the yellow edges, to make a yellow cross. So what that would look like is like this. We can disregard the corners, they don't matter, just as long as we have this cross. That's what we're aiming for. So the way that our goal, um, so we're just going to use one algorithm for this. It's just going to be F, moving the front side clockwise like this. And then that we can do use that corner algorithm that we learned at the beginning. So like, um, just as an example, if I want to put this corner down here, pretending we're doing the first layer still, we would go like this, and the corner would be there. So the way that we would do something like this, the algorithm that you need to know basically I'm saying is F, and then you do the corner algorithm once, and then you undo the F. Okay. So our goal is to get it to the horizontal bar, because at the horizontal bar we can use this algorithm putting it horizontally. Of course, if it's like this, just move it over. When you do the algorithm, you have your cross. So it won't always start out at the horizontal bar. It may start with um, this L shape. If you have, like, the, you could have two edges oriented across from each other or in an L shape. If you have an L shape, you put it in the top left corner. If you do the algorithm once, it gets you to a bar. Then you can just do it again. But if you notice, when you're doing the algorithm, um, after you do, before you do that last move, you're gonna have to undo it anyway. So to do the second R U R prime U prime sequence. So in reality, what you can do it when you have an L is just to do F, the corner algorithm twice, and then undo F. Um, the last thing for me to know is that it's possible you'll have a dot, and no edges then in this case you can just do the algorithm once and then you'll have an L or something like that. And you're good. So now from here, the next step is to... Um, the next step that we're going to try to do, once you have the cross, is to also solve all the... Um, like, orient all the corners. So to do this, um, what we're going to need to do is... Tr our goal is to get it to this fish shape. So you see how... <coughs> I'm sorry, you see how it looks like a fish here, and you have like these two, uh, like a tail and like a head. So once you're at this fish shape, um, you can uh, you can do this algorithm that I'll show you right now, and then that's what's basically going to get it solved. So the algorithm is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So... Yeah, so after you do that algorithm, it'll just end up with some random combination of yellows, like or like a random combination of pieces with the yellow salt. So that's once you have the fish, you put the fish's head in the bottom left corner, and that's what you do. You do that algorithm. There will be occasions where you have the fish, you put its head in the bottom left corner, you do the algorithm, and it's not solved, you just get a fish again. This will happen at most once, so... In this case, just realign the fish's head to be in the bottom left corner, do the algorithm, and then you'll be good. The thing is, you won't always start off with the fish like this. You might have something random, like this. If you do not have a fish, there's only one thing you need to do. You always just look at this bottom left corner again, and you want to make sure that there's a yellow sticker here facing you. So, like, here there isn't. It's a red sticker. Here it's a blue sticker. Here there is. There's a yellow sticker facing me. So I could do the algorithm from here. Or here there's also a yellow sticker facing me. So for example, I just choose here. It doesn't make a difference. And then I do that same algorithm. Okay. Um, you may have to do this twice, but you won't have to do it more than that. So here I need to find another. This is not the fish still, so I need to find yellow down here. Not there. Here. I do the algorithm. Now we have the fish. So now I can just proceed again. 
and I put the fish's head in the bottom left corner again. There we go. That's all you need to know to solve this top layer like that. So once you have this entire yellow side oriented, the next goal is to solve all the corners. So notice right now I have these two corners solved, but these two aren't. They're both messed up. So also notice here that I have what's called headlights because these two colors right here on this corners are matching each other. That's what you're looking for. So once you have these headlights, you can put the headlights in the back. So I hold the cube like this, the headlights are back here on the opposite side. From this position, the way that you solve the corners is you rotate the cube down like this. So you have the headlights in the back, you just rotate the cube down like this. So white is facing you, the headlights essentially become underneath you. At this point, you do this following algorithm. It's kind of long, it's probably the hardest one you're going to memorize, so yeah, but once you get used to it, it's fine. So the algorithm is R prime, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R prime, D2, R2. So yeah, I just unrotate the cube and I see that I have the corners all solved now. So I can move the top layer, I have this bar thing, and now we're good. So before I teach you this step, let me just point out that sometimes when you're starting the last layer after you orient the entire top, you'll be looking for headlights and you won't have them. Because it only works if you have two corners of the same color on this side, like this blue, green, orange, red, like you don't have headlights here. So in this case, you just, from any angle you want, you can just do that algorithm I just showed you. So you rotate down. You undo, and then headlights will appear. So that's all, that's all you need to know. And then you just put your headlights in the back, like this. Rotate down, do the algorithm. Now, there we go. So at this point, you just need to know um, it's two more algorithms technically, but in a way it's like one because they're the exact same just with like a mirror flip. So when you're in this position, you want to hold the solved side in the back. You may not have a solved side. It might look something like... Uh, it might look something like this, So meaning no side is solved. And if this is the case, just do either algorithm I'm about to show you, and then you'll get to the place that you need to be, which is having one solve side. So holding the solve side in back, um, I'm going to do the following algorithm. So, oh, actually, first, it's based, so there's two algorithms I mentioned. It's based off of whatever piece is in front of you, whether it needs to go towards the left or to the right. So this is red right here, correct? So red is on the right side. It has to go towards the right. So now I'm going to do this algorithm towards the right. And I'll show you what I mean. So the algorithm is F2. So now this next move is based off of whichever side I have to, um, the piece has to go to. So it has to go to the right. So I move the top over. I do U prime. If I had to go to the left, I would do U, okay? So now I did U prime because I had to go to the right. And this is the same for either algorithm. You do R prime, L. Basically, you drag these both down. You do F2 again. Now you undo dragging them down. You pull them back up. So you do L prime R. And then wherever this white bar is, you just bring it back towards the front. In this case, that would be a U prime. And then you do F2 to undo. And then you're done. So that's if the piece has to go to the right, like I just showed you. If I had to go to the left, which I'll show you right now, it would be slightly different. So you see now this piece in the middle is orange, which means it has to go to the left. The only difference is that first move in the sense that, or I mean the second move. So I would still do F2. Now the only difference is since it has to go to the left, I move the top to the left. Everything else is the same. Drag them down. F2, pull them back up, realign, F2. So there you go. That's everything you need to know. 
So for the exception, when you don't have any side solved in this case, you just do either algorithm, it doesn't make a difference, it, uh, just choose one from any angle, and then some bar will appear somewhere. Then you can turn to that side, I see this has to go to the left, and there you go. So that's everything you need to know to solve the last layer of the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So I hope this helped, let me know if you have any questions as always, and yeah, thanks for watching.